Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. So I'm getting a couple of emails regarding 3D motion and could I show them how to make objects move basically. So um, the one they're referring to is this one here. They want to know how, how they can spin the moon or sorry the moon, how they can spin the earth. That's not a problem. Alright, so I'm going to use a, a simple object. I'm going to use this baseball. So right now this baseball is not going to do anything. So how do we make it move? Not a problem. Okay. Now, uh, whenever you're working with your objects, always make sure you look into your object manager here. And if you expand the menu, you'll see that there are, uh, they're broken down into uh, sections, stitching and ball. So that would mean I have control not only on the ball but also on the stitching. You can also check it from here. Stitching ball, and you can check it from here. Stitching ball. Okay. Now I prefer to work with the object manager, especially when I start adding more objects to the project. All right. So we want to move this. First, what we need to do is we want to highlight it so that we're moving the ball and the stitching. So make sure you've got ball highlighted. Now, because we just want to change the orientation of what the ball is doing. We've got to make sure that our orientation tab is also highlighted. Now, what we want to do is just bring your time or the slider right to the end of the timeline. Now, because we are working with 3D, we are always going to be working Y, Z, and X axis. So, to move it, say, from left to right or into a circular motion 360, we require for the Y axis to be moved at full circle. So, that's then. 360, press enter, and if we go back to the beginning and we press play, you'll now see that it moves. And it will do a complete full circle. Not rocket science, I understand that. Alright, so that's how we move this object, 360. And as you can see, we are using keyframes to do this. So keyframes are basically the guts of the program. Alright, so let's Take this keyframe out. And I'm just going to break break it down just to show you uh, what I meant earlier about uh, the two different uh, objects within this uh, project. So let's say I just want to move the stitching. So I'm going to go into my object manager. I have expand baseball. I'm going to highlight stitching now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I just wish the stitching to be moved, but instead of going from left to right, I'm going to I'm going to go around say from top to bottom. So Again, I'm going to stay in orientation, but now I'm going to do the X axis, the 360, enter, and I press play, and you will see now it rotates around the other one. And back to the beginning. So that's how we do it. And now you can see that we can work with our objects and move them individually. And if we now want to move the whole object, we can do the same thing, highlight Baseball, 360, enter, and then we get this little effect. So there you go. Nice and easy. Alright, so now we know how to work with this object and move it. But uh, again, uh, I got a few emails, and another email was uh, regarding how do they change some of the pieces within uh, the object. Now they, from what I, from what I can gather, the main one was this piece of cake. Now, it's not so much that they wanted to use the cake in their project, they just wanted to know how were they able to change the text within this cake. Not a problem. So, just like the ball, we go into Object Manager, expand the, the cake menu, and you'll see T for text. And you just highlight that. And once you've got highlight on that, you go into the Edit Object tab, expand that, and there's your text. So all you need to do now is replace it with your text. And there you go, my friends. Very simple. So now we've now changed it to Crips. As you can see. All right. So let's put that back. Sorry about that. I'm going to put it back on the cake. All right, now before I go, I'll show you one more thing. When you're working with 3D objects, sometimes you wish to view it not only from this angle. 
Sometimes you wish to view it from a different angle, but instead of moving the whole cake to view it, you may distort or move your position where you think, well, no, I don't want to move my position. I just want to move, I just want to take a different look at the cake. Alright, so whenever you wish to look at the objects complete, make sure you go right back into your cake and then click on camera. And now what it does, it gives you an attribute panel which allows you to look from different angles. So if I wish to look from the top, all I would do is highlight this knob and now I can see it from the top, from the left, right, and so forth. So if you're working with a project and it rotates and you want certain lighting at a certain time, you need to see it from a different angle, say from the bottom. This is how you're able to do this. But just rotating your camera around the object. Okay, my friends. So I hope that helped uh, some of you out. And as always, thanks for watching.